Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now have you ever wondered that how sewage disposal happens in places like aeroplanes? Now aeroplanes it's flying in the sky. So where do you think the sewage will get disposed? Because inside the aeroplane also you have toilets. So from where will that wastewater go? Now airliner toilets they use different mechanisms. So some of the mechanisms which they use are like closed waste mechanism. So in this case what they do is they flush the wastewater into an onboard sewage tank. So they have a big sewage tank in which they just keep on collecting all the wastewater and only when the plane lands they again empty the sewage tank and then again the same process continues. So that is called closed waste system because they are keeping everything in a closed tank. In some airlines, they also use this technique of vacuum waste system. In this, the wastewater is sucked into a tank. Now, however, in case of airlines, leakage of waste could become a very serious safety concern in the air because the plane is flying in the air. So if there is any leakage of uh, the wastewater, it, it is actually going to impact people below right so uh, in airlines that's why they have different mechanisms they have different ways of handling sewage disposal so being again I, I am repeating the same thing that being good citizen we need to ensure that proper sanitation is maintained in public places because at our homes it is easier to control things because it is our home and we tend to keep it clean and we can be I mean we can take good care of the cleanliness but when it comes to public places like hospitals or nursing homes or uh, schools colleges banks uh, railway stations so in such places a lot of people are coming and different types of people are visiting these places so it is very important that people take good care of cleanliness in public places so first of all you should dispose wastes in dustbins. A lot of people when they use public toilets, they just flush solid materials. They just put uh, paper, tissue papers and so many other solid stuffs into the flush and they flush it off, which is obviously not a good thing. So people should take care that they do not litter around. They should throw the solid waste only into dustbins. Even if you do not find a dustbin nearby, you should carry it with you and wherever you see a dustbin, only there you should throw it. Sanitary waste should be disposed of appropriately because uh, if you do not, again, throw it off appropriately, you throw it here and there, again, the same thing happens. It causes, it brings about a foul smell, microorganisms start growing there, it can lead to a lot of diseases. So these are some, these are small things which has to be done from our end. But if we all become uh, aware enough to do these things, so I think a lot of diseases can be avoided. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So let us look at some of the questions. Question number one, fill in the blanks. Cleaning of water is a process of removing. So what are we removing? We are removing the undesirable substances, which are called pollutants. Wastewater released by houses is called, what is that wastewater which is released from the community? The term which is used is sewage. Dried dash is used as manure, so the dried sludge, sludge is the solid waste during the sewage treatment process and since it is very rich in nitrates, so it can be dried to be used as a manure because nitrates are excellent nutrients for better growth of plants. Drains get blocked by dash and dash, so oils are one thing which can block the drains Fats are another thing which can again block the drains. Therefore, we should take care that we do not throw oils and fats into the sink. Question number two. What is sewage? Explain why it is harmful to discharge untreated sewage into rivers or seas. So sewage, as I said, is the wastewater which needs to be removed from a community for healthy living. So the wastewater which comes out of each of our houses, that is nothing but sewage. Now, this sewage contains a lot of harmful substances like uh, organic wastes, animal excreta, urea in the form of urine, uh, chemicals, pesticides, paints, etc. Now, if it is directly disposed of into the river, it will pollute the entire river water. And if the entire water gets polluted, what will happen? The entire aquatic life will get spoiled. All the living organisms living inside that river or sea will die. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वाई शुड ऑयल्स एंड फैट्स बी नॉट रिलीज इन द ड्रेन दिस ऑल्सो आई मैंशन दैट these oils and fats they tend to block the drains they block the pipes now when they block the pipe what happens smooth movement of uh, the waste water doesn't take place so the entire sewage system the entire transport system of sewage gets interrupted and also it fills pores in the soil as i said soils have tiny pores in between and that is filled by the oils therefore water cannot fill those spaces so water cannot pass through the soil Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.